Hey guys, I just had, of course, crazy experience for me, but not for many other people, I guess. I wanted to share it. So, I have been out for a couple weeks, and so I'm catching up with my therapy clients. And one of the ladies, um, her mother's dog passed away, unfortunately. And my, this woman is bedridden. She had a surgery and she can't get out of the house. So she asked me to go and pick up the dog's ashes, which I was more than happy to do. No, that's not what therapists do. No, that's not what social workers do. But yes, that's what we do. Whatever it is to help your mental health within reason, ethically, um, I do. Especially when it comes to pets because I, above everybody, know the pain losing a pet so anyway I go to the pet crematory services here and I'm in there talking to the ladies I was just telling them like you know I admire you guys I can never do your job you know and they're like we can never do your job and we're just all giggling whatever well some of us well a lady comes in to pick up um, her animals and she had two and you know, the lady was like, you know, crying a little bit and, you know, she looked at me and all of a sudden her pets came to me and I'm looking at her and I see the dog and I see another animal that I'm like, what the hell kind of what animal is this? Because it wasn't a dog or a cat, you know, that's usually what comes through to me, obviously, because that's um, when I do um, animal ceremonies, the animals I've passed and communication with animals, it's dog and cats, you know. So anyway, I looked at her and I said, you know, excuse me, ma'am. I said, can I share something with you about your dog? I said, I don't want to impose and I don't, you know, um, I'm getting messages from an animal and I don't know if it's your animal and I don't want to offend you or, or upset you, you know. Um, and I hate and I hate doing this to people sometimes, but it's like sometimes it's so strong. People who know, who, who, who you know, know about this stuff or experience this, if you don't speak it, it's like, um, for me, I get sick. Like, I physically throw up if I don't let it out. Um, now, if someone would tell me no and not give consent, I would never be disrespectful. I don't, I always get consent. No matter what, if it's touching a tree or speaking, you know, to, you know, about animals and stuff like that. People's past on animals. So anyway, can I go to this store? I gotta go to the store for the client, too. Um, can I go gaily forward? Okay, sorry, you guys. Um... So anyway, she said, well, yeah. And I go, and I close my eyes. You can see me, sorry. I close my eyes. And I was like, I'm seeing a black and white dog. Not a large dog, but not a mini dog. Like a medium-sized dog. I said, with distinguished markings around their face. And I said, I'm seeing something tan, but I don't know. And of course, she started bawling. Staff is looking at me like, bitch, get the fuck. I gotta give me some mascara. I can't find anyway sorry squirrel she started crying I've already you know paid for the ashes and all that I'm trying to get out the door because I I have a lot of other you know clients I'm trying to catch up and see today and I need well, I'm gonna get these ashes back and she said can you hold on for a second until I pay for this and show you on my phone the pictures of my dog in my gerbil it was a gerbil hamster or gerbil. I know there's a difference, but I, you know, at this point. Um, can I? Oh, shit, I can't turn. Mother trucker. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get something that's needed, um, for somebody, and it's all cocky-eyed here. Cocky-eyed. <laughs> I love me. Okay, we're gonna go the long way. Okay, so anyway, I wait about another 15, 20 minutes, and... I go outside to the car with her. Here we are at five minute mark telling a story. Um, and she shows me the pictures and it's exactly how I saw it in my head. And of course I start crying because now, now getting more consent. And so I, the more I get, I start to feel and embody, not embody, the animal. it's really weird. I can't explain it yet. I don't know. I'm figuring it all out. You guys, I don't understand half it either sometimes. So, I asked her, I said, can, can I touch you? And she was like, yeah, and not that I have to, but I just, I don't know what it is, so I just do things. And so, I don't know the reason for it half the time. So, I touched her, 
and all of a sudden I saw like uh, her dog another dog and this gerbil and I said I'm seeing another dog I said I don't know whose dog I know these it's only been these that passed I said but I'm seeing another dog that's with them and they're in a prairie and I said not a park not a forest but specifically they're in a prairie and I see them galloping around and she shows me the picture of her childhood dog and it was the dog and so I shared with her yes this is what I saw and I encouraged her I said you know I would really suggest that if you come across a prairie you know, I said they have them like at different parks, like the Park of Roses here in Columbus. But anyway, I said if you come across a prairie, for some reason your your animals are telling me that you need to go to the prairie and to let you know when you feel them jumping on your bed and there's not a, another dog there, it's them. You know, I was telling them, like, these are the signs your animals is going to give you to let you know that they're with you because our passed on loved ones, our animals, they all give us signs. We're just the ones that be like, oh my God, that was just weird. That was just a coincidence. No, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, and so, of course, she was crying. And I was, you know, I had, you know, I, tears in my eyes. Because I'm like, I don't, I don't have many tears left in me in general. <laughs> so, um, she said, you know, you gave me more confirmation than I could ever have felt. She said, you know, I haven't been able to pick up my animals. They passed a couple months ago because it was like, you know, felt like it was the final thing if I actually did pick them up. And so she said, you know, I am so glad that I came here today and I got this confirmation. So I was just, I wanted to share that because, you know, it's just really important when these things come to us, whatever, you know, now I'm gonna fuck on man. I gotta get to a store to get this, this little pain. Um, <laughs> anywho. So, I just want to share that with you guys. I won't keep you. <coughs> Thank you. I hope everybody has a beautiful, amazing day. And that you are full of joy, love, laughter. May you love and be loved. Deuces! <laughs>